All right, guys, quick and dirty video here. I switched up my doser and am now using a, the JBAL Wi-Fi that only has Chinese instructions, but actually it wasn't that hard to figure out. <coughs> but I am switching over to Bionic um, supplements. So I did the alkalinity one already, but I wanted to show you how to do the others. At least how I did them with the Voss bottles. So, with that said, here is the Voss lid. Here are the connectors I'm using. Now these are quarter inch, male, female. You get my drift. But these are specifically the ones I bought, if that helps you. I also bought um, quarter inch clear vinyl, about 20 feet of it. That's what I bought. And it comes like this. So, uh, airline tubing is a little bit thinner, so it doesn't fit in the quick connect, but uh, you get the idea. So, I'm gonna run this over to where I'm um, putting the bottles from the doser. So we're on the second channel here. Should have cut it first, but let's just weave it around here. I want to make this as streamlined and hidden as I can. So we're going to cut right behind here. So with anything in the sump, it's never easy. Got it right about where I want it, so I'm gonna cut it. Flush cut. Run it underneath here. We're gonna put the other bottle right there. So that said, where'd that cap go? So the cap, and I've got a three eight or three eighths inch drill bit in here, and you just. I do it nice and slow because I don't want to crack the lid. But I also don't mind stabbing it. Oh. Now, it needs to be a little bit bigger. I probably could have got a bigger drill bit, but... Nonetheless, you get the idea. So, I'm going to grab my razor blade. And this little kind of rough stuff at the top, I like to just cut off. I want to get a nice clean seal or else what you'll notice is you'll get air in your, your uh, air in your line. So I put the male end in here on the inside. And it can be a little tricky sometimes to work it in there just because I didn't do the exact size drill bit because I'm being a little bit lazy but you get the idea and you get it started in there and then I use a 17 millimeter socket get it the rest of the way through take the female end Put it on the top and then again you want to make sure everything's tight or else you're gonna run into air in your air in your line which is no good because then you're not giving an accurate 
amount. So there you have it. <laughs> That's your connection. So on this one, one sec, let me grab a different tubing. On the inside, I use this polyethylene tubing, quarter inch. It's a little bit more rigid, so it gives me a better, um, I'll show you inside the bottle here. So then, fasten that there. Get your bottle. Obviously way too long. So we're gonna estimate it here. And then I don't do a flush cut on this one, I do an angled cut. The reason being, in case it goes flat against the wall, I want it to still be able to pull the fluid. So, see how it kind of stays more rigid, goes all the way down, so. Now, I am going to fill this with calcium, B-ionic calcium. All right, so before I was using Tropic, uh, or I mean, Tropic Marin Ball for Reef. But what I found was that ever since I added T5s, my growth has kind of just exploded. So it's sucking up a crazy amount of out while not using up the other elements as much. And rather than just upping my dose of Tropic Marin, which would then cause me to go out of whack on my calcium and my magnesium, I had to switch over. So, <clears throat> get the connection here. Put it right there next to the elk. And then we connect the other side of the doser. And then I've seen, and I actually looked for those fancy dancy um, dosing tube holders. And they're nice, but they cost money. And suction cups don't. So I got airline suction cup tube holder thing. You put it in there, clip it to the line, make sure it's like away from the wall. And then we suction it to the side. Okay, so you get the point of that. But now what we need to do is drain the line. So what you'll do is, or not drain it, but prime it. So you'll prime the line with your doser. I will put a little cup over here to catch, uh, catch it out, uh, catch it until it comes out, um, and then just dump it back in the bottle. Uh, make sure there's no bubbles in it and everything. So. That's that, I'll be back with you in a few just to show you the finished product. And we're back because I ran into an issue, one that I should have thought of but didn't. So what happens is, as it sucks it out, it's an airtight seal. So <laughs> it uh, collapses the bottle. So what you have to do is I got a 1 8 inch drill bit. And we're gonna drill a breather hole just on the, on one side here. There you go. Put it back in. And I had a little bit of, of air getting sucked in, so I'm gonna try into the uh, drain line. I'm gonna try and tighten this down just a little bit more. If not, I have, may have to come up with something else, but for now, let's just do a tiny twist. 
we'll put this back on. This back on. And we're gonna try again. All right, guys, we got our finished product here. Blenity calcium magnesium. Tubes are in there behind the sump. Up to the doser. Still have one channel available. I'm thinking of going with something like uh, SPS, Easy SPS or something like that, just to feed everything. Down to these tubes. And into the return. So that's that. Thank you.